What is going on guys? Welcome to Tech Savvy Buyer. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how I made that intro. It's pretty easy. You don't need to know how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. You don't need to know how to use Adobe After Effects and it'll be probably the quickest way you can get this done and the most affordable way. As a content creator, I'm pretty sure you guys know it's really important to save time and spend that in more important things such as editing and shooting versus getting all these fancy things ready just to make your videos look nicer. So any time that can be saved is always valuable. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick way to save some time and what website I use to create different logos and to create different kinds of intros. All right guys, let's go ahead and see how we make a new intro or a logo. So pretty simple, we're gonna head over to renderforest.com that is the website that I am going to show you guys on how I use to make my different intros and different logos. Now, upon looking at this website, it looks pretty plain, looks pretty simple, but don't get fooled guys, this website does it all. It actually helps you build your own website as well. And the cool thing that I like about Render Forest is that they call it Render Forest specifically because it renders the videos on the website and then just presents you with one that's available to download and use. So you're not going to get individual files that you got to go and render in Premiere or do anything like that. You're going to get a full AVI or sorry, MP4 file, depending on what format you choose. You'll get an MP4 that you can use ready to go into your videos. So let me show you how I made the intro for this video. It's pretty simple. So you'll go into create video and you're gonna select video templates, you're gonna go into intros and logos, you can go that way actually, but this way I just went into, let's say, the most popular ones that are being used these days. As you can see, these are all different little mini logos, right? So if you click, it'll show you exactly how these work and what the animation effect is looking like, all that jazz. So if, if this is something that you wanna make, we'll show you how to make that as well, it's pretty easy. But in the example for our video, this is the one I used. It's called their transforming logo. So we'll go ahead and click on that. We'll click create now and let's begin the process. Now it's really straightforward. All you're gonna do is you're gonna enter your logo in here. Since we already have my logo, we'll go ahead and drag and drop that. So I'll go ahead and insert it. I'll make the size a little bit bigger because I know that this can fit more. Let's bring it up till about here. Oops, too big. Okay, that seems to work pretty well. And we'll hit confirm. We'll put in our text here, which I believe was all things gaming and tech. There we go. Save and close. All right, next we'll be able to go ahead and select the color on this specific one. Now each different theme or intro that you work with will have a different set of tools that you can use, but basically the flow of work is just like this. You'll start off editing and the very first thing it's gonna ask you to do is put your logo in. Now again, this website also lets you customize and make your own logos if that's something that you're looking to do. But since I already just wanted to show you guys this video and how it works, I'm just using a generic text-based logo. It's not really my personal logo per se. Anyways, I'm fine with the colors on this, so we're gonna go ahead over to the music tab and select the music. Now this video is seven seconds long, so they've listed out a whole bunch of different tracks that are free to use that are also seven seconds long. And you could see that they have a huge selection of different ones that you want. So you can pick whichever one makes sense to you. Um, for me, I'm just gonna stick with ambient logo and then we'll move over to the next step. Now we'll head over to preview. Now this is the part where you can check your export quality. You can check how it's gonna look before you actually commit to buying it. And I would highly recommend you guys to do so because once you pay for it, there's only a minimal amount of things that you can go ahead and change in there. So for example, if your logo is not looking right and you go ahead and render this and you paid for it, you won't be able to edit that. Now text and colors and stuff like that, you're able to actually go ahead and modify those things even after buying it. So if you look at the different options when you click purchase, you can either go ahead and purchase this in low quality, high quality, or the highest quality, which at this point is just full HD, it's not in 4K. Again, for animations like this, even 1080p is great enough. Now this will cost you a little bit, 30 bucks to 10 to $30, just depending on which you choose. I would recommend that, guys, we're in 2018, so you wouldn't want to get anything that's less than 1080p at this point, and I get it, it's $30. So with that, I would just say make sure that you use your um, or you use your best amount of time and, and that you're putting the good amount of effort needed to make your logo and your intro look correctly because $30 can be a bit pricey if you look at it that way. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and hit buy. In this case, since I've already bought this, we're just gonna jump over into my library of stuff, so my videos, and you can see I already have it here. 
Now, I have bought it in HD 1080p, and so I'm able to download it. Once you purchase it, you'll get this option to download it. And you can see I have other ones that I was either in the middle of making and I didn't pay for, or the ones that I did pay for and that are still there. They actually keep all your stuff together and break them out by the type of category that it is. But nonetheless, let's take a look at this one. So we're gonna hit download, and then we'll go ahead and play it to see how it came out. So once you hit it, boom, there is our intro logo made. And really guys, that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. It's really easy to make. It's nothing difficult at all. You guys can do it and you probably can do it even better than I did. But like I mentioned, the website is renderforest.com. Make sure you give them a check out if you're looking to get a new logo made or if you're looking to get a new intro made for your channel, your, your website, anything that you want to use it for. And right now you could save 30% off. They're doing this deal up until Christmas, so you just have about four days left. Use the code CHRISTMAS30 at checkout and you'll be able to save. So what'd you guys think? I think it's pretty cool that you can make a really nice flashy animated intro in just a matter of a few minutes like we just did. And only have to spend, you know, about 30 bucks to get that done without having to learn how to use Premiere Pro, how to use After Effects or any other fancy software that people typically use to do animation and animate objects in general. So it's a good resource that every content creator should definitely keep in their back pocket when you're short on time and you want to get something that looks professional and looks nice you should be able to go ahead and visit this website and do the steps that we just did and get a very nice final product in the end now before i do let you guys go i do have 10 giveaway coupon codes for render forest it's really easy to win these coupon codes only thing you got to make sure you do is you've watched the video up until this point you've hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already and all you got to do is comment saying that you what you would make use of that coupon for. So let me know in the comments what you'd use that coupon for. Would it be an intro? Would it be a logo? And upon doing that, I'm just going to randomly pick 10 people that I'm going to send out coupon codes to, and we'll share that in our next video as well. But until then, guys, if you like content like this, I know it's a little bit different than all my tech reviews and gaming stuff and whatnot. If you guys like to see some behind the scenes stuff where how I'm editing things, how I'm changing stuff, because remember, I'm a one man show. I don't have a whole team here. Anything that saves me time is definitely valuable to me. And I'd love to share that with you guys, obviously. So until then, not to ramble on, I will see you guys on my next video and until then I'll see you in my comments. Take care and peace out. Bye bye.